everybody, welcome to an Epic Mighty of Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We have Action Figure Surgery Episode 55, I think. I think it's 55, it may be 54, but I feel like it's been a while, bro. I mean, we used to be kicking out surgery like every week, and we, you know, we took a couple weeks off. Now we are back, we got a lot of stuff right here. I'm very excited for these. You guys will see that we got like three of a lot of superstars, right? We got John Cena, John Morrison, The Rock in the house. Very excited for these swippages and swappages. Gonna fix up a lot of guys, gonna correct some things, gonna get some things going and I'm actually very, very excited to see how everything turns out. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below once it is all completed. But what sucks is, you know, like we got all these new figures, right? Elite 79 Undertaker. We got the new Survivor Series figures, which we already really did surgery on. And then we had the uh, Decade of Domination Wave, Wave 1, right? I feel like Wave 2 will have way more fix-ups and swappages and switches. It'll have a lot more fix-ups to do in Wave 2 of that set. But in Wave 1, you can't do anything with Undertaker, really. You can't do a lot with Randy Orton. You can't do a lot with Natalia. You can't do a lot with Mark Henry. And John Cena is really the only one that I really wanted to affect. And that is right there. And then we do have Survivor Series John Morrison here today that we're going to fix up as well. But nonetheless, guys, here we are today with some action figure surgery. So let's go ahead and start off. We are going to start off with the guy on the stretcher because that's, that's what we always do, right? So starting off, guys, you will notice that this is the Attitude Era Rock Elite. And for this figure, one thing about this figure is that it is really good. It's a really strong figure. I like it a lot. But one thing we're going to do here today, I love this shirt that it comes with. I love the khaki pants or the slacks, if you will, for this. It's not khaki, you dumb idiot. These are black. Does that look khaki to you? But here's the rock. We're going to switch out the head sculpt because I think uh, the one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts, the one with the people's eyebrow right here, is going to look damn good on this body with this shirt on here. Not only that, I think I'm going to put my Brahma Bull World Championship on here, drape it over the shoulder, and throw it up onto the shelf with the glasses and everything. So that's a really easy swap. We're just going to put this Ultimate Edition head sculpt. Oh my God. We're going to put this Ultimate Edition head sculpt on here, put the sunglasses on there, put the Brahma Bull title on there, and that will be a very simple swap, but something that is going to make that figure look a hundred times better, because I really like that people's eyebrow head sculpt. That came with the Ultimate Edition. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Another thing that we're going to be doing, guys, so let's, I guess we can go ahead and knock out all of the Rock figures. So coming over here, we have the Walmart exclusive Collector's Edition Elite 69 Rock, and for this figure, we're going to switch the head sculpt again, and we're going to switch it out with the Ultimate Edition Straight Face. So this Straight Face Ultimate Edition Rock head sculpt, I'm going to pop this head sculpt off, put this one on. Then we are going to put the sunglasses on this one again. So we'll have the sunglasses again on this Ultimate Edition. And then we're going to put, we're going to remove the elbow pads and we're going to uh, put on this Lay Up the Smackdown t-shirt on there, but I did cut the sleeves off to make it more accurate. And I have an extra pair of jogging pants. So it'll be like a street gear backstage promo attire of The Rock from that era with the Lay Up the Smackdown t-shirt, sunglasses and all that. So that'll be a really clean fix up as well. Making a lot of like street promo gears for The Rock here today and I'm excited to do so. I think it's going to look sick. For him and Stone Cold Steve Austin, put, you know, their attires don't change that much, so I feel like getting the figures in the wrestling tights will be a lot easier than getting them with all their different shirts and stuff, so making all these backstage promo gears is going to be a lot more fun for me, and I've been waiting on this attire for a while, but I think I am going to get another Ultimate Edition Rock, and I think this figure is going to drop in price eventually, so what I'm going to do, and I, I mean, I, I could always just buy another one, or I could always just remove the clothes from this guy, but we're going to take the Ultimate Edition Rock right here, and you guys will notice that he's yelling so we are going to put the sunglasses on here and get rid of that because that way you don't see his eyes closed it looks like he's actually got his eyes open yelling at, at a stupid jabroni and we're just going to put on the Brahma Bull t-shirt and the sweatpants that I had over here so basically just making another promo uh, you know promo attire for the rock again and uh, that'll be three different rock attires that we can put up on the shelf that's going to look really really nice up on the shelf can't wait to see what that looks like so we have our three promo attire rocks with sunglasses with those ultimate edition heads need to get more because I want to fix up more rock figures. But moving on, guys, we do have John Morrison and we do have John Cena. Two Johnny Boys going on. So if we take our Decade of Domination Elite here with my Elite Four coat on there, we're going to take these. I'm going to put one of the... I'm going to put this basic John Morrison head sculpt on one of these guys. I don't know which one I'm going to do first. And I also thought about switching these white covers over to one of them because it ties into the white wrist tape. And then, not today, but painting all the gold on this figure in white, I think would look really clean with the white boot covers and the white wrist tape, you know, of 
over here. So that may be something we do. Like, it would make a maroon. It would make, like, a maroon and white color. And I think that'd be pretty cool. But I'm not going to do that here today. One thing I am going to do, though, is switch the head sculpt of this figure over to one of these. And then for both of them, I am going to switch over their uh, boot covers. Because their boot covers are not only flipped, but they're backwards. See, they're supposed to be rotated around. They're, right now, they are backwards. You guys can see the little thing angles up. This is supposed to be on this foot wrapped around. That way the foot can articulate. And I'm going to, they, they like, they prepackaged them that way. So they're all messed up. So I'm going to have to fix that up. And then we're going to do the head swap for John Morrison. So that should be really easy. And then last but not least, guys, diving into John Cena, we're going to make a couple different Cena looks right here. So if you guys know, you have the decade of domination John Cena right here. We're going to make one of his street attires when he was U.S. champion, where he wore a Michigan State Magic Johnson jersey. And what we're going to do is what we're going to do right here is we're going to put these arms over here. We're going to put this t-shirt, this white tee, over here with the black armbands and the black pants. We're going to put these shoes over here. So he'll have like the converse looking shoes. And then we're going to put this head sculpt over here and then put the white bucket hat. So it's going to look like his rap battle that he did with Rikishi and then Taz I think was the moderator. I'll pull up an image of it. And then the other one, you guys are probably wondering, well this one's going to be pretty much blank. Yes, you're right. I'm going to put this pissed off Elite 3 head sculpt over here. I'm going to put this green hat backwards on this head sculpt, such as this, like this right here, so you guys can see. I'm going to put this solid green hat on there to match the uh, the 33 jersey right here in green. And then I'm going to also put the Word Life armbands on here. And I'll pull up an image of what it's going to reference and kind of look like. The hat won't be the most accurate, but I'm going to put these Word Life Defining Moments arms on there, as well as the Word Life gauntlets onto the hands, which won't be these hands. It'll be the Word Life hands over here. And then we'll also finally put these shoes from the other Defining Moments over here as well. So I'm going to make two mashup Cena's right here to give it two different looks. The only thing that won't be accurate about both is the hats because this bucket hat's supposed to be black and then the uh, Celtics hat's not supposed to be solid green or the Michigan State hat's not supposed to be solid green. I think he wore like an all white hat or something like that. So I don't know. We'll see about that. But now that we have covered everything, guys, let's shut the hell up and dive into the surgery itself. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first is we are going to heat up these Rock head sculpts. Now, the Ultimate Edition Rock isn't losing his head sculpt, so this should be pretty damn simple. I don't think we'll have any football issues right here. I guess what we can do is go ahead and heat up the John Cena head sculpt as well because we do have to switch this over here, and the Elite 3 has to go on this body. So I am going to remove the bucket hat. We are going to remove the chain, and we're going to remove the jersey because you do not want to warp these things because it will ruin them forever. And, uh, yeah, that's just something that we, that, we, that we stress over here. So I am going to go ahead and try pop off the arms as well. We'll see how that goes, but I think getting all this heated up like so, and then we do have our Elite 3 head over here that we gotta pop on, and we also have our Word Life arms that we're gonna need, so I am gonna do this. Actually, we may be, now. Nah, I'll wait. I'll wait on the feet because we are gonna be switching over some other feet, and I, I, yeah, we'll just do the upper body stuff right now. So, there's our arms, and I, oh yeah, the head sculpt. Gotta get the head sculpt in there. I think that's all we need to heat up right now. We'll do the John Morrison. Ah, I'd really like to do the John Morrison now, but I don't think it's it's possible. I think one thing I'm also going to do is get off these god dang massive elbow pads that come on the Survivor Series Elite. Switch those out for the ones that come on this basic because these these are smaller and they just look better overall, but I'm scared to switch out these John Morrison heads, man, because they got the long hair and you guys know about the long hair and the don't care and the freaking just heating it up and getting it all exposed and then it melts and then you want to cry and let's just shut the hell up and try to get this right. Alright, so I think that is pretty good right there. I think we're in good position. Now I'm going to get the trusty white hair dryer and heat all this this Alright guys, I don't feel good about it, you know? I don't feel good about it, especially this Morrison. This Morrison didn't get heated up hot enough. It's close, but no. Nah, not risking it, dumb jackass. Alright. All right, that Morrison worked out, so that's good. We are going to have to heat up the other one, though, so just wasteful, wasteful of time. Uh, this over here, this John Cena, we got to pop this head sculpt. We got to pop this head sculpt onto this other black shorts body, the first defining moments John Cena head sculpt, or the, the body, I should say. Popping that over there, so that is good to go. Then we got to put these arms onto this body, so this these arms do have to go onto that same body that we just switched over. Popping that on there, and then popping the word life armband on there, and then popping this arm off. Dude, I'm telling you, if they ever made it where you couldn't fix up WWE figures, like if they ever made it where like new figures couldn't be switched and swapped, I'm going to be so upset, man. 
man, because this is my favorite thing about the John Brown. This is my favorite thing to do with my figures is to fix them up and customize them and do things I want with them. So, like, if they were to switch that up, oh, dude, we would be in some massive John Brown trouble. But there's that, and then we got to pop the Elite 3 head sculpt onto the Decade of Dominance body. Just like so. All right, now I think our base is complete. Besides our shoes that we got to switch over. I mean, this figure looks fire just by itself. Like, before the shoe swap, I may not swap the shoes, dude. Because I like this. But now nah, I think I'm going to switch it. Anyways, moving over to the rock, guys. We do have this head sculpt that needs to come off. So there's the one rock head sculpt. And then the other rock head sculpt. So the John Cena is done besides the shoes. Even though, again, dude, I'm liking the way that looks. I'm actually debating. Ah, I think I'm going to leave those John Cena shoes. I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks. I'm leaving it. Farting bags. All right. So the rock head sculpts are done. Now what we have to do is dress these guys up. So this head sculpt is going on this body. On there pretty good. Kind of kind of wobbly dobbly, but, you know, I don't know what to say. Jesus. It still looks good. It's just kind of a bobblehead, but it's not It's not terrible. All right, so now we're going to take our people's eyebrow head sculpt, and we're going to put this onto the Attitude Era figure, like so. Yeah, this fits this body much better than the other one. All right, so now the next step is going to be putting the necklace on here, like that right there. You love that. And then putting the shirt on here, just like so. So that looks good. And we'll take a closer look at that at the end with the sunglasses on there. So for our next rock head sculpt and figure, we got the, uh, the little promo attire. Still freaking heavy head bobbly wobbly garbage so what we're gonna do for this one is we are gonna stick the sweatpants on here first i don't even know which way it effing goes honestly should probably take the knee pads off but we're not gonna do that here today brad freaking stripes falling off the sides of the pants i mean that's what we live for you know pants are a little bit loosey-goosey on there to be honest but you know it's not a big deal still stands up pretty good and then we're gonna slide these elbow pads off put these over here with morrison we need to just bring it rock why have we not gotten that yet the white team just bring it rock with white trainers and and sweatpants. Anyways, let the SmackDown t-shirt coming up. Plop this on. This t-shirt actually fits super duper tight, so this should look really good on the figure. We're about to find out, though. And the scissors I cut this with were dull as hell, pissing me off. Need to get some new scissors. And there we go. We'll look at that at the end as well with our other rocks. Alright, guys, so up next, we are gonna have to reheat the John Brown head sculpts of the John Morrison, which sucks effing eggs. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that on camera again, because I'm just not gonna do it. That would be absolutely pointless. What we are going to do, however, is we are going to heat up the boots of both Morsons. Now, this should be relatively simple. Again, I'm going to have to flip them and reverse them and all that good jazz. We're going to put the other John Morrison off to the side. Now, this should be, again, relatively simple. I think all we have to do now is dress up our Cena's and uh, switch over our Morrison's and then the head sculpts, of course. But let's go ahead and switch over these tassels because it's driving me nuts not being able to flex the feet. I literally turned around and I don't know how long that effing hair dryer had been blown over there. God in heaven. You know, to be honest with you, probably could have switched these over without even heating them up. But you know what, Brad? Here we are. So there we go. We're going to slide that off and put that over there. Pop that. Go this. So we're going to slide this up like that. I'm pretty sure this is how it's supposed to be. You know, I could be, I could absolutely be 100% wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be. You know what? Oh my God in heaven, that's hot. But God, look how odd John Morrison looks with just the boots. You could make like Corey Graves. You could do, you could do some custom superstars, you know, but this needs to go on this foot so point that down and then slide that on like so see i heated it up because it's hard to put that on so usually you'd you put this on you'd slide it up as high as it'll go while it's hot and then plop the boot back on there because it's way easier to do it that way like that right there and then you slide it back down and then bam because now you have the cut you have the little angle and that's what you like to see brad this is exactly what you like to see you want that angle going up you want the cut on the outside not the inside and i could be completely wrong about this but as far as i'm concerned and the way it looks aesthetically to me it looks much better like this in my own personal opinion you guys can let me know what you think but yeah dude that's that's better to me good stuff brad good old stuff now i gotta do the same thing over here though that's what 
coats, eggs, shitty. I don't even know what I just said. Plopping that on right there. These short boots are always kind of hard to get on unless they're like really, really hot. If you guys have ever done like a Stone Cold Steve Austin boot switch, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. But once this is completed, we will be done with John Morrison besides the head sculpt, which we'll do uh, before the end of the video. God in heaven, I'm sweating like a hobo, Brad. So there we go. All right, John Morrison's done besides the head sculpts, which we will do. But now we have to dress up our Cena's and then I'll see you guys at the next segment of the video. So for dressing up the Cena's, guys, we have this version and we have this version. Now I will be real with you. I'm not that high on this head sculpt over here with the Decade of Domination, but the reason that I'm leaving it is because it's gonna have the bucket hat on. So it really isn't gonna bother me that much, but let's go ahead and stick this white tee on here. If you guys are wondering where I got the white tee, I got this white tee from the first Defining Moments John Cena, the draft lottery, the 2005 Raw draft lottery Cena figure with, you know, all the bells and whistles on it. So that's where this white tee came from. I'm just gonna slide this on here. It should fit the figure pretty John Brown good because this is the actual body that this figure came on. So that's an interesting fact because this is a first Defining Moments John Cena body, but there you go. Got the t-shirt on there. Doesn't conform to the arms as much as we'd like, but you know, it's not a huge, huge deal breaker there. But now that that shirt's on, we're gonna stick on this and we're gonna sit him off to the side. And then for the Magic Johnson Michigan State jersey, I'm gonna plop this on here. This may be, this. they may have been going, I don't know if they were going for the Larry Bird Celtics jersey or if they were going for the Magic Johnson Michigan State jersey, but nonetheless, I'm just gonna say it's the Michigan State jersey, even though it's probably a little bit darker green than this. Even if it's the Celtics attire, I think when he wore the uh, the Larry Bird jersey, it, he was wearing like red, white, and blue armbands, but not a huge deal, not, not a deal breaker for me. You know, we're just trying to get usage out of these figures because I didn't like the way it looked originally, and we're just trying to make some different fix-up Cena's right here, so getting the jersey on there. That actually went on a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be garbage, but there's our chain pendant. Here is our green hat, which does not even go on the figure. This is pretty much a best of pay-per-view John Cena hat or an Elite 20 John Cena hat. I think it's the best of pay-per-view though. The You Can't See Me 2012 hat, except the logos are removed. And I got it that way from Hong Kong, if you can believe that. But I'm gonna put the life over here, life over there, and then word over here. And now the Doctor of Thugonomics is finished. But alright guys, that does it for everything. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Alright guys, so here's everything we did today on Action Figure Surgery. And to be honest with you guys, kind of crazy that, uh, you know, I don't really feel like we did a ton, but there's a ton of figures right here and I'm happy with every single one of them. I think all of them turned out exactly as I envisioned them. Let's go ahead and start off with our rocks, guys. So the first rock that we have is the Attitude Era, you know, Brahma Bull with the, you know, the people's eyebrow head sculpt from the Ultimate Edition. We also have our Ultimate Edition street gear with the yelling head sculpt and the sunglasses. And then we have our Elite 69 Collector's Edition fix up with the Ultimate Edition head sculpt. And I think all three of them turned out great in their own way. And again, like making different promo gears of the Rock and Stone Cold and guys of that era growing up. I mean, that is how I envision them. Like, I, of course you have your in-ring gear, but a lot of the times their in-ring gear wasn't, you know, it wasn't like Seth Rollins where they're coming out like Thanos and, and Deadpool and the Flames gear and the and the Kingslayer and all this stuff. It was just, you know, maybe a logo change here or there and Stone Cold Steve Austin always came out the same. So the, the stuff for me with those guys is their, you know, their backstage gear and their promo gears and their t-shirts and stuff and all their different looks. So all of these look really, really fantastic. The Ultimate Edition turned out way better than I thought. Uh, this one turned out about how I thought with the with the People's Eyebrow, the Brahma Bull title. And then the uh, Elite 69 Collector's Edition looks really, really good as well. Love that head sculpt. He just looks super serious like he's going to beat ass. And so these rock figures turned out great. I think they turned out better than I thought they would. And they came out exactly as I envisioned. So that is excellent. God, I, I can't wait for the day we get all double jointed arms. But that's besides the point. Next up, guys, we have our Cena's and we have our John Morrison. So here is the, uh, the little Rap Battle Rikishi Elite fix up. It looks exactly like it, except the bucket hat is white. I could paint it black to make it more accurate, but I mean, this th this still looks clean. It looks exactly like I thought it would. Great looking head sculpt as long as the hair color is covered by that bucket hat. And then we have our sort of fix up, uh, you, you know, just Boston Celtics slash Mich Michigan State jersey. John Cena fix up with the backwards hat and the pendant. I like it a lot. Looks great. Turned out terrific. Again, I like that I kept these shoes on here and these shoes on here. I still think it works out fantastic. You could have switched them over and then put the other DM shoes over here, but I am glad with the way that came out. And then finally, we have our John Morrison. So we have our Survivor Series Elite with the Elite Four coat on there. And all we did was switch over the, uh, you know, the tassels right here that were backwards and, and not on the right foot. So we fixed that. That looks great on that figure. And I love the way this figure looks in that jacket. You guys can let me know what you think of that. And then we have the Survivor Series Elite fix up with the updated John Morrison.
Jason head. I am excited to get the Elite 82 figure because we're going to put that head sculpt on here as well and see what that looks like and, you know, see what different fix-ups we can do. But there's the boot swap again with the backwards tassels. God, that looks so much better, man. He can actually stand up and not fall over. So that makes me really happy. His figures are always really good at articulation, as they should. I mean, the dude's a freaking phenom as an athlete. So that works out for me, guys. But that is every single figure we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Really pleased with, with the way everything turned out. Again, it's kind of crazy. I didn't feel like we did a ton of switching, but all of it turned out fantastic, and I'm excited for it. But before we get out of here, guys, I am going to give a random shout-out, so let's go ahead and get into that. So huge shout-out to Luka Doncic, biggest fan 77. Love that name, by the way. Luka Doncic is actually my favorite player currently. So growing up as a kid, Kobe Bryant was obviously my favorite player, and he's still going to be my favorite player of all time. I don't ever see anybody ever replacing that. And I've always been looking for another favorite player of mine to, you know, go forward in the future while watching the NBA. And while I'm a huge Lakers fan and it's Laker fan all day, I am actually, I think I have found that player in Luka Doncic. So Luka Doncic is actually my favorite player currently right now. And I don't see that switching up anytime soon. While I am a big fan of guys like Rajon Rondo, John Wall, I like some other guys here and there. But currently, I think my favorite player in the world is Luka Doncic. So hell yeah about the name. But he says, dude, I wish we would have gotten the Thanos Seth Rollins. That is my favorite attire Seth has ever worn. I highly agree, man. I voted for the Thanos of gear. I really wanted that Thanos gear, man. I, ah, 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 ah. oh man, I wanted that gear so bad, but hopefully we will get it. You know, it's not all over. Maybe we can get it one day in the future, but for now, we are going to have to wait on it. It would have been in the fan vote, man. The, the new WrestleMania 35 gear that we got in the fan vote. I think it beat it by like 2%. We would have gotten it already. We already would have seen the images, man. It would have been sick, nasty farticles, but we didn't get it. It did not win, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer, but hopefully they do make that gear one day. You know, they never made the WrestleMania 34 gear in elite form. They have missed it. You know, they missed out on the Avengers gear before. They haven't made the Survivor Series gear that he wore with the Chicago Bulls theme. So there's a lot of gears that they can make. And hopefully that uh, that Thanos gear makes the cut the next time we get a Seth Lee. But huge shout out to Luka Doncic, biggest fan 77. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.